Guys, we need to help each other as humans. We do. It makes you feel better, and it makes the other person feel better, and it's just human nature to help people. We need to stop worrying about stuff that we can't handle. Political stuff. That's not in our control. We need to stop worrying about media. That's not in our control. That's all hype. That's all hearsay. That's like believing wrestling is still real. We know it's not. It's just a show. It's to get a reaction out of us. With that said, what do you do to help people? Me? If I see a homeless man that's cold on the side of the road or sleeping under my steps by my apartment and I have a coffee, I'll give the man my coffee. If you're hungry, I'm not going to give you any money because I that's just I, I've never given anybody any money. But I'll go out to eat with you and I'll pay for it or if I don't have any money on me, if I don't have anything to buy you food, but I happen to have food, if I have a bag of chips, if I have half a hoagie, some pizza, whatever, I'll split it with you, I'll give it to you. That's just who I am. I'll do anything to help anybody except for give them money because I just, I think that's stupid. You shouldn't give away your money, especially if you're willing just to give your assets for people but what would you do to help sick people they say laughter and love and happiness those are the best medicines rather than any other kind of medicine well I personally I do this quite a bit I volunteer my time and I will go over to children's hospital and I used to I used to be an acting coach. I've had a lot of successful people go through my classes. So I volunteer my time and I will put on about a two hour block class for any of the kids that will go there completely free and I will teach them some basic cinematic acting uh, techniques, typically Adler style. And if you don't know what that is, just look it up. There's like nine different kind of techniques. Adler's just the easiest to teach to kids. And uh, so I'll put on the class. And then at the end of that class, I will use the hospital's media channel and we'll put on a little presentation. 30 minutes, hour long, whatever block we can get, we'll put on a presentation and those kids can have their five minutes of fame, if you will. They will get to fill something as a terminally ill kill kid with cancer or anything. They will get to have that five minutes of fame. They will feel more alive in that time frame, being in everybody's eye watching them than most people will feel in the rest of their life. And I don't do that to raise awareness for myself or anything like that. I simply do that because I love to teach acting. And being a parent, I'm obviously a family person and kid person. And at the end of the day, that's going to be memories for that kid for however long they have left or even if they're not terminally ill, if they just broke a bone and they're having a bad day, whatever it is, that's a memory that they have for the rest of their life. And their parents, their household, whatever, can record that segment that we're putting on. And that's a memory that everyone can have about that kid. That's something I do. I volunteer my time and teach kids acting. Not only do I do that, I will go to geriatric hospitals, old people's homes, nursing homes, convi convicts, or not convicts, I don't mess around with them. But anyway, <laughs> uh, 
uh, uh, I, I'm having a mind blank, the place where nurses, or not nurses, nuns live, uh, yeah, starts with a C. But I'll volunteer my time there, and there's old people. I'll just hang out with them all day. I'll play some chess. I'll cook with them. I'll cook for them. I'll just spend hours there and talk to them. I've taken my son a couple times, and he loves going. Last time I took him last summer, uh, he was just starting to walk around, and he was kind of doing that whole I'm curious, blah, blah, blah thing. And so the nuns, where we went, they just gardened with him, and... My son had a blast, and I guarantee those nuns loved it. When I take him to go and see any of the old people in nursing homes, they love him. My son's all smiles, laughing. laughing. He's just, he's a ball. And everybody loves him everywhere he goes. He's probably going to get kidnapped one day because he's just that friendly. But that's, that's another thing I do. I just, any free time I have, if I don't have anything planned, so yeah, any free time I have, I'll go and volunteer and give somebody else my time because they probably are doing absolutely nothing and bored out of their mind. Probably, that's probably the first person they've seen in months, years, hours, days, you know. Everybody gets depressed when no one comes around. And so me, at some point they're probably going to play start recognizing me but for the most part they just see a friendly guy who laughs who jokes with them and who cooks for them uh when i go and hang out with the kids and teach them acting they just see a guy who is making the best day of their life happen pretty much even if it's not it makes me feel like they are enjoying it because they're laughing the entire time they of course are not the best because they have no experience, and I'm having fun with them. I'm mostly just playing acting games, but it's something that you guys should do. You should start volunteering your time. Not to get the glorification that you volunteer, because that really pisses me off when I hear people that do that. Like, oh, I volunteered 30, year, 30 hours this week because I make too much money, and that's what I do. I, no, dude, just... Do it to hang out with people. Be a friendly person. With that said, there is something that, even if you have no time to give, you can go onto the children's website, and I'll put it down in the description, and you can send kids Valentine's for free. Oh, brighten their day. And Children's isn't the only hospital that does that. There's a list of hospitals and I'll also add that in the description so if there's one around you you can send that hospital Valentine's for kids or you can do it all I mean it takes literally like five seconds to go onto the website pick a Valentine and send it and it gets sent anonymously or there's an option on there to have your like name and put your own little detailed Valentine's wishing it's super simple. It takes five seconds to do. You can do it on your smartphone while you're driving. I don't recommend that. Don't drive and text, even though I know you do. Don't be a dumbass. But it literally takes like five seconds. You go on, you click, you send. Your Valentine is going to get sent. And it's going to get distributed evenly through all the kids throughout. Super simple to do. Again, I'm going to add that down in the description. And you guys should all do it. It'll make you feel better. And if it doesn't, then you have no soul.